If you want to set up a ManyChat Messenger bot for your business, then I highly recommend that you keep watching this video because I'm about to go over a couple of setup best practices that you need to be on the lookout for. So in this video, I'll be covering the best way to link your ManyChat Messenger bot with Facebook ads. I'm going to tell you about a couple of settings that you need to make sure you have in place on your Facebook page settings side of things. And then I'm going to show you a couple of different hacks, tips, and tricks that I've come across that you really should be implementing with your mini chat messenger bot. So stay tuned, click that thumbs up button, turn it blue if you get value from this video, and let's go ahead and jump into it. Before we jump into it, let me tell you who I am. My name is Ian Smith, and I run an internet marketing agency called Evolve Media. We specialize in running Facebook ads, Google ads, and building out messenger bots. Duh, of course, that's what I'm going to be teaching you this in this video. So anyway, if you want to jump on a free consulting call with me to ask any questions or see if me and my team are a good fit for helping you scale your business, then head over to evolvemedia.agency and book that consulting call with me. All right, so first up, I'm going to show you how to set things up in your Facebook page settings to make sure that no glitches or issues happen because you'd be surprised how often there are glitches and issues between Facebook and ManyChat. So the things I'll be covering right now are in your Facebook page settings, the advanced messaging section, how to uh, turn on your API, configure your app settings, make it a primary receiver as ManyChat and a secondary as your page inbox, starting messenger conversation with a greeting text when you're running a um, messenger ref URL campaign and, and they see this blank page, you know, you want to give them a greeting message. I'll explain that here in a second. Your page inbox and uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and show you on my page. So this is the messaging tab right here. Just starting from the top, general settings, use the return key to send messages. You can leave that on. This is what I was talking about with that whole messenger ref greeting text. So here is where you can show a greeting so that when they click on that messenger ref URL and they go into your message, usually that's a completely blank page. And then at the bottom it says, get started. Well, I highly recommend having a little message just like right here where it says, hey, first name, click the get started button below now. So you're kind of just helping them along the process because a lot of people get stuck at this get started place and they don't see the get started button at the bottom there. So this greeting text will help your conversion rates. Next, you got your messenger URL. Now I don't really use this too much, but you can customize it and make it um, however you want. You can actually customize it on the mini chat side, I believe. Um, you can add Messenger to your website. I wouldn't really rec recommend using the Facebook side of things. You can use a ManyChat growth URL and add it to your website in a ton of different ways. Um, during Messenger conversations, set up automated responses. Again, this is going to be something that you set up on ManyChat if you want to have some automated responses go up. Um, show who's sending messages on behalf of your page. I would turn that off. That way the, the user can't actually see that Joey or Johnny is actually um, on behalf of your page. If that's something you want to do, then by all means, turn it on. So now in the advanced messaging tab right here, this is where a lot of the more important stuff is. So scrolling down the response method, responses are partially automated with some support by people. I would highly recommend selecting that. Messaging API, the messaging API enables automated responses. I would have that on. Connected apps, if you've already connected ManyChat with your Facebook page, then you'll see that right there. If you haven't, then go ahead and do so. App settings, now this is a really important part right here. So you wanna click on configure, and you wanna have your primary receiver for handover protocol as ManyChat, and then you wanna have your secondary receiver as page inbox. So that's going to make it so that when you're in ManyChat and you're in the live chat feature, it's actually going to show messages in that area. Um, so you have the ability to respond to people in two places, in many chats, live chat section, or in the actual page inbox here in this Facebook page area. Whitelisted domains, I highly recommend you put all the domains that you can think of inside this area if you're sending traffic to certain domains from many chat. I'm not really 100% sure why they need to really have a list of domains, but here it says third party domains that are accessible in the Messenger web view for use with the Messenger extensions SDK for Messenger plugins. So it's basically just when you're sending traffic from Messenger to other websites. Now this one is a very important section right here, requested features. I actually left it unrequested so I could show you guys how this works. So this is a one-time notification and I'll cover more of this in depth later in this video, but basically 
it says it right here, this allows your page to send one message to people in Messenger that may fall outside of the 24 hour messaging window. Only people who have chosen to receive one time notification will receive one. So you definitely want to go ahead and request this. I don't know why they even make you request this and do this manually, but click on request. It's gonna pop up this thing, click on confirm, and then you're good to go. A one-time notification, if somebody, let's say, reacts and engages with your bot on a Monday, but you wanna hit them up on a Thursday, you know, outside of that 24-hour window, you won't be able to unless they opt into it by clicking on that one-time notification message that you set up in ManyChat. If you did not have them click on that one-time notification to be alerted, it then if you try to hit them up outside of that 24 hour window, it, it'll be blocked. It won't even reach them. So definitely make sure that you request your page to have one time notification access. And then down here, high volume messages, keep your access to inbox. I wouldn't worry about that. So that is pretty much the settings that you need to make sure are looking good on your page settings in the actual Facebook page area. So next slide is to split test Facebook ads to many chat in with different triggers. Okay, so the different triggers that you can have are the JSON method, which is a many chat growth tool, the quick reply slash keywords method, and then the messenger ref URL, which is what I mentioned earlier. The messenger ref URL is basically gonna give you a link, and then anybody who clicks that link will be directed over to messenger. They'll have to sign in if they're not signed in, but before they actually get into your message flow, they're gonna see that page that I mentioned where it shows that greeting text and they'll have to click get started in order to actually jump into the... So messenger ref URLs can be a little bit clunky because <clears throat> They have to sign into Messenger, then they have to click Get Started, then they can start going through the flow. But sometimes it's the only option if you're not running Facebook ads to get them in. Like if you wanted to send email, send out an email blast and then have people go from emails into Messenger, then a Messenger ref URL is probably gonna be your best bet. So back to the JSON method. Now this is something inside ManyChat. Like I said, it's a growth tool and it's a growth tool that gives you this code that you would then copy paste into Facebook and there's a lot of glitches with this. You know, it's in the Facebook ad level that you paste this code. It's not 100%. We've faced a lot of glitches when running a video ad, a messages, you know, the Facebook campaign objective has to be messages. And then on the ad level, you want to have usually an image ad. We've had a lot of glitches with trying to run video ads with the JSON connection. So that led us to explore other options, which is this quick replies keywords method right here. Now how this works is it's basically a hybrid. Half of the opt-in message is built out in the Facebook ads platform and then the rest of the flow is built in ManyChat. So how this would look is in Facebook on the ads level, you can, you know, I didn't have it teed up to show you guys this, but just real quick, cause I don't want this video to be too long. Um, in the ads level, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it'll say like start conversation, you can create a new conversation, you would then wanna select a quick reply, which is basically a button that disappears after they click it. You set text, like let's say that they're entering to win in a giveaway campaign. So it would say enter giveaway would be the button text. Now when they click on that, it's gonna enter it like they typed it. And then you wanna have in many chat, here I can show you the many chat area, uh, you go to automation keywords, and then you want to have an actual keyword message set up so that if a message contains enter giveaway, then it will send them a message flow, whatever message flow that you pick from there. So, you know, the first opt-in message you're building out on the Facebook ad level, then when they type in and they, they click on that Facebook ad type of message saying enter giveaway, then ManyChat is taking over because it's seeing the whole keyword. This is by far the less the least glitchiest way that we have been able to get people from Facebook into a ManyChat Messenger bot. So I highly recommend exploring this. And again, do your split testing between the Facebook ManyChat triggers, you know, doing it with a JSON, a quick reply, Messenger ref URL if you wanna try that out. But um, you wanna test all these options to see which one is gonna give you that best cost per new message for your Facebook ads. All right, last slide for you, send Facebook sponsored messages. So like I mentioned before, you have the one-time notification message, which they have to opt into in order to receive messages down the line. You can't, 
force. <laughs> There's no way around that except if you do a sponsored message, which means that you are now paying to reach them. And I think the cost is, uh, it's like $25 cost per a thousand messages. So it's like a $25 CPM. But um, it, how it all works is that 24 hour window, right? Going back to that whole, if they respond and engage with your bot on a Monday and you try to hit them up on a Wednesday, if they didn't opt in for that OTN, it's gonna be blocked. The only other options that you have, the only other option that you have is a sponsored message. Um, Facebook is closely monitoring the violations of this 24 hour rule. It is easy to get banned, so be very, very careful. Um, use your OTNs, your sponsored messages. And with sponsored messages, you gotta make sure that you are creating a custom audience of everybody who unsubscribed to your bot. Now this is something that's super secret. We had to learn this the hard way on our own. When somebody unsubscribes from your ManyChat bot, they're unsubscribing from ManyChat. They're not unsubscribing from your Facebook page, which they are ultimately really subscribed to. So ManyChat is handling that whole unsubscribe. So if you then bypass ManyChat and you just run a Facebook sponsored message, that's gonna basically hit everybody on your list, even if they unsubscribed. So what you need to do is create a custom audience from, from ManyChat, you would export out a list of everybody who has unsubscribed from your bot, import that list into Facebook, and then you need to exclude that list, that custom audience list from your Facebook ad campaign with the, the whole sponsored messages. So it's a little bit tricky, it's a little bit of a process to get that list out of ManyChat and then put it into Facebook to then be able to exclude them from your Facebook ads, your, your Facebook sponsored messages ad campaign. Again, you know, if you're not the type of person that's gonna look into doing this type of stuff, then I highly recommend just outsourcing this work, preferably to me and my team, because we can help you out so well. But anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much all the info that I, I wanted to show you. You know, when it comes to setting up the foundation for your mini chat campaign, you really wanna make sure that you're doing these best practices so that you don't waste money on ads, that you don't potentially get your whole page shut down and so that everything is just working as fluid and efficiently as possible. So hopefully this video brought you value. If it did, click that thumbs up button and turn it blue. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you wanna book that free consulting call with me, head over to evolvemedia.agency.